It is the second annual 2009 InfoWars.com Money Bomb. And if you're watching this later at PrisonPlanet.tv or on YouTube in six months, you want to support us, go to InfoWars.com, buy the books, the videos, in-game blueprint for global enslavement, truth rising, the Obama deception. Why are these films at number one on the Internet? Get the DVD and see it in the high quality it was meant to be seen in. Find out the information that is shaking the foundations on the New World Order. And we're all in this together with great folks like Lou Rockwell of LouRockwell.com. They're on your screen. Coming up the next hour, we'll take about 15, 20 minutes of calls with Lou Rockwell for those that are patiently holding at 1-800-259-9231. Lou, I know you're trying to focus on the positive here, but you know, you know, I'm, I don't know what the media is doing. You have the DHS report uh, that we broke and the Mayak report we broke and all the others. And I've been seeing these for years, just nobody would pay attention to them until now. Where they're saying Ron Paul, conservatives, libertarians, uh, in the Fed groups, I got secret documents and the Army confirmed them that the Army was spying on Ron Paul last year at the In the Fed meeting uh, in Houston and spying on us in Dallas at our In the Fed meeting as potential terrorists. So they put this script out. I know that blew up in their face, uh, but still, this does show that they consider us to be a real threat and are trying to sick the Defense Department on us. Uh, but at the same time, saying vets are the number one threat. So, uh, and all these anti-gun bills introduced, and all this draconian stuff going on. I mean, this this is amazing. Well, America has been unfortunately at least a, a soft fascist state since Franklin Roosevelt uh, and his New Deal, and it's been getting worse since then. There've been stops and starts, and back step forward and step backward, and so forth. So, yeah, we have we have. Uh, um, Again, the biggest government in the history of the world, the U.S. government, it hates dissent. It wants all of us to be good little boys and girls, turn over our wallets, turn over our children for their wars, obey them, listen to them, and salute them. I mean, that's, that's the way they want things. So anybody who is, who is a dissident, whether from the left or the right, is hated. And, uh, of course, they want to, they, you know, they don't like us. And we can't trust, obviously, the mainstream media is, in effect, a, a state, a state media operation, no different from, uh, the ones in uh, some other countries, they're giving out lies. They smear anybody who's who's opposed to uh, the central government. It's Federal Reserve. It's wars. It's uh, all the it's spying. Uh, it's welfare. It's economic transfers. It's destructionism. They're a terrible bunch in the in the government. And yeah, they don't like us saying the nay. But here's the good news: government depends on the consent of the governed. They actually depend on at least the tacit consent of the people. And if the people ever start to withdraw that consent, they get terrified and they can be brought down. You, you know, you mentioned the Ayatollah Khomeini a, a little bit ago. Obviously not, not exactly our cup of tea, the Ayatollah Khomeini. But the way he brought down the, the Shah, the dictatorship the U.S. government had set up, by the way, in Iran, a monstrous government with horrible torture and secret police and... and uh, punishing businessmen for raising prices um, against their horrendous paper money inflation. Um, the way that the Ayatollah Khomeini brought it was changing people's minds. You, as you say, through these, through these cassette tapes were an important part of it. They changed people's minds, and when the people of Iran withdrew their consent from the Shah, the whole government disappeared like a bunch of leaves in the wind. Didn't matter he had secret police. Didn't matter he had vast armies and so forth, because the number of people... Who are, you know, the government is a parasite. It's an economic parasite. And just so they can live in the style to which they are, they are accustomed, they have to be far fewer parasites than the hosts. We hosts vastly outnumber the parasites of the government. And they know it, and they fear us. And if we start to withdraw our consent, as is happening with the Federal Reserve, they are in big trouble. Absolutely, and the more they try to hide it, the more they try to abscond with the truth, the more it blows up in their face. I mean, coming out and building this whole control grid to try to block our peaceful revolution against them, that's only going to intensify the resistance. It only proves our point. Lou Rockwell, back in 70 seconds. Stay with us. Are you tired of losing your hard-earned savings in retirement? Does the continued loss of purchasing power through the hidden tax of inflation brought on by trillions of dollars in government bailouts bother you? Then please let me, Dwayne Daly, with Midas Resources, help you to protect what you have left. Call me at 800-686-2237, extension 115, and I will explain to you how to retain your wealth and purchasing power now and in the future with gold and silver. 
Gold and silver have been a form of currency for 6,000 years compared to our present fiat currency, which has only been in existence for 38 years and failing fast. Call me, Dwayne Daly, at 800-686-2237, extension 115, to start your protection of wealth today. I will custom fit the protection package to your personal needs. No amount is too small, so start today. Call Dwayne Daly with Midas Resources at 800-686-2237, extension 115, for your gold and silver protection portfolio. Lou Rockwell of LouRockwell.com and the Von Mies Institute. One of Ron Paul's right-hand men is uh, joining us today for another 20 minutes or so. Let's take a few calls in the next segment. Mr. Rockwell, you know, you say people are waking up to the tyranny, and I agree with you. I see an awakening that's exponential, that's parabolic. But the system doesn't care, and it's got a lot of brainwashed paramilitary police on power trips. They'll do what they're told. I remember watching Governor Ridge six years ago. Homeland Security just been set up publicly. As we know, Clinton gave speeches about it in 93 and 94, how Northcom, how they wanted to set it up and have an army on the streets of America. This has all been planned bipartisan. But the key here is, he said to have a job, you'll have to have an ID card, buy and sell, total control. We're going to track and categorize everything you do. And what you see in the airports, that type of security, it's going to be in the malls, in the bus terminals, in the subways. And now in Boston, New York, Houston, Dallas, they have these Viper teams federal marshals, others. TSA, as you know, is taking over, and they're saying everyone in New York, everyone in Boston will now be searched. I have um, pass stations to run security screening test, cutting-edge passive millimeter wave technology. This is the one that scans your neck and body, puts it on a hard drive. I mean, it's more human than human. I say more human. It even shows the pores on a woman's breast and your genitalia. Total humiliation. People are going to march their sons and daughters through even, I guess, so the feds will now have a biometric 360 scan of our body. Uh, your comments on that, Lou Rockwell? Well, you know, there we, we have to remember that the, the central government is, in effect, a criminal gang that lives off of theft by taxation, and it lives off lying by propaganda, and there's no end to what they would like to do to us. So, yes, this the uh, nude pictures at the airport and so forth, where they're all, I'm sure, yucking it up uh, and passing things around, um, is just, that's, I mean, it's, it's a peek at what the government is like, but it's, you know, so you sort of think of like the mafia, only the mafia, I don't want to condemn the mafia too much because they actually provide services people want to buy. The government doesn't provide services people want to buy, that's why it wants to use force to get your money. Uh, so, the, again, again the, this is a bunch that thinks nothing, for example, of killing a million people in Iraq. And exactly. How, unfortunately, not too many Americans care about that either. They're killing people in Afghanistan. They have these 700 military bases all over the world. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a killing operation as well as a theft operation, the government. So I think we all have to realize that nothing is beyond them. And the only way that we have any chance of holding them back is by teaching ourselves, by learning what's going on, by reading, by watching and by being being observant and just becoming aware of everything. And not buying any of their tricks. Uh, I mean, uh, let's exactly talk about some of their right. tricks, because they have constant tricks. But for those that don't know, the news only shows you a still image on the screen of, of your genitalia and says, yeah, you're naked to set that precedent of humiliation. Taking the shoes off is a submission ritual. I've read their psychological warfare documents on that that have been leaked. It's all about training you to be a slave to answer questions, to be lined up. But what they really have is a 360 naked image of you for their biometric cameras to identify you on the street. Go ahead, Lou. Well, it's true, and I, you know, that whole shoe business is, of course, ridiculous. I have a friend who said, thank goodness that guy didn't uh, didn't try a pants bomb you know, <laughs> rather than a shoe bomb. So it's, uh, yeah, but, you know, if you go to the airport, you understand exactly how the federal government would like all of society. That is, you're in line, you're subservient, if you even look them in the eye, you're in danger. You have to do everything they say. You're, there's no freedom of speech, and it's all socialized. Of course, it's a socialist. It's the way communism is run. The TSA is a is a socialist operation, like everything else from the federal government. The Pentagon. They're all, they're, these are all socialist operations, and just as like socialism all over the world, national socialism, international socialism. Uh, this is a, a very crude, a very uh, a brutal bunch. And, you know, they would like us all to be their victims. However, we don't have to be their victims. Well, what about Tenth Amendment challenges to the TSA waddling around with their illegal alien screeners 
And that's come out in the news. A lot of them are illegal aliens. Yeah, well, magnificent Tenth Amendment challenges. Yeah, yeah. Stay there. Lou Rockwell. Always amazing to talk to Lou Rockwell. Your call's coming up and a lot more. I'm Alex Jones. The InfoWars Money Bomb is in full swing. Stay with us.